hello everyone welcome back to my channel okay so i promised us i'm going to show you my apothecary today yeah, where i store my medicines my drugs both the ones i've prepared and the process herbal medicines yeah then i'm going to show you some herbs i have around some collection of herbs that i just keep it handy okay so some of them i use them for teas some of them i use them for to mix medicine, tincture, syrup, anything I want to do in case I have any emergency, they are just there handy, okay? But there are some I've already mixed as medicines which are there, which I use to treat my children, my kids, okay? I really use pharmaceutical drugs because of my knowledge in natural medicine, okay? So most times, these are what I use to treat my children, my family, my household, and some clients, yeah, because sometimes I do get calls from clients so I have them handy I just prepare them and keep handy I'm going to show you where I normally store them where I keep them and stay tuned to the end I'm also going to be showing you some benefits and what I use some of them for to treat some of them you might know them they're around you okay so just stay tuned to the end of this video to get the best okay so let's go through my apothecary okay so this is my cabinet that i've converted to my storage inside these boxes with different sections are uh, where i store my herbs flower seeds and the rest of them okay so we're going to be opening them and i'm going to be telling you what they are then we will now bring out some of them and tell you the benefits and what i use them for okay so let's open the first cupboard yeah so this is my main section where i have my tinctures finished products and the ones that are already in the process yeah and then i have my flowers my herbs my fruits dried fruits and the rest of them up there okay inside those bottles you can see those bottles that are used okay to preserve them and then to keep them tight and sealed okay so we go over to the next one okay so here i still have some tinctures and some herbs there inside there where my camera cannot reach there are some bags of herbs to or flowers there okay and then we also have some more here we have our pure cacao and the rest of them date seeds okay then in this other cupboard we have my beet greens yeah in the bag bag of big beet greens then we activated charcoal we have our mint we also have some already made tinctures mixed there and then we also have some herbs okay so that's a kind of summary of uh them then i also have my um essential oils here and some carrier oils okay in that section so i keep them handy to make it easy for me okay so now let me analyze some of each sections just a few before i pick them out single-handedly so these are my medicines and those bottles they are my tinctures glycerides and some oils like the castor oil black seed oil okay they are the ones in those small bottles okay they are handy these are the ones i use on regular basis if i want to use any i have them handy i just use them okay so let's look at some of them you can see my immune booster my sour soap extract from sour soap the scent leaf the cinnamon the lemongrass the lemon castor oil brain booster black seed oil then my beetroot mix which contains the carrots potato beetroot for nutrition okay that to boost nutrients in the kids and also for hair boost okay so it's a mix okay so these are my major tinctures and the rest now up here i have um the herbs the flowers the lavender chamomile 
lemon dried lemon dried cucumber dried potato okay i have green tea the mint and the rest of them okay that's what i have in the other section there are so many plants which i can use for teas at any time of can use for syrup or whatever i want to do with it or even for skincare or hair care so i have them handy okay now on this other section i have my beet greens that's from the leaves of the beetroots okay you can use it for cooking you can use it for tea and whatever way you want to use it but it's as powerful as the beetroot itself okay now you don't throw away the green leaves you can use it for your cooking highly medicinal okay so up there i also have my mint leaf good for your weight loss and the rest okay i'll take my time to bring few of them out and we'll talk about them yeah maybe in my next video now for the the next one there is activated charcoal good for poison is anti-poison one great one you should not miss at home okay now it's also for detox and a whole lot of things okay maybe i might need to be picking these things one by one later in my channel to teach us okay so inside here i also have my chicken extract <laughs> okay i just went into poultry recently yeah into chicken rare chickens and i made some extras for them that has been helping them i'll share my story later and i'm going to tell you how i manage them and how i handle them okay and they are doing very well with my natural medicines <laughs> okay that's for another video so i have my chicken extract sitting there that's another that small bottle there is my chicken extract <laughs> okay so i have also my aloe vera gel extract and some other herbs there all right so these are the different sections of them that's where i just keep them and i store them this is where they are and they are handy for me whenever i want to use them at any time okay for the home use for clients and the rest of them these things you see up there they have saved lives <laughs> okay so i'm going to bring some of them out down and we're going to talk about them i'm going to give you some benefits of these things okay all right so in order not to make this video too long i'm going to be dealing with the prepared medicines and maybe the tinctures glycerides and the rest those in the process and those that are already made in this video but my next video will be carrying the raw herbs and the rest of them okay okay so i just brought out a few of them i'm going to be brief about the benefits maybe different videos i can pick out a single herb and talk about them in full details all right so these are extracts still in process some of them they are long overdue yeah i've even collected from them but i still keep the herbs in there to still sit the longer they sit the more potent they are okay okay so the first one i have here is the clove spice extract okay so this one i used for toothache yeah you just Put a little in the cup and gargle it whenever my kids are having toothache also when they complain of for headache i use this too i also use it for respiratory issues bronchitis i mix with rosemary and the rest okay so it's also good for cold it's antibacterial can be used as a deodorant just put under your armpits and no smell <laughs> okay when it comes to hair growth this is a barber yeah you can use it to spray your hair and get that growth you want very strong in hair growth okay so it's also prevents illnesses you can be taking it regularly to prevent illnesses okay it fights autoimmune diseases okay you can also use it for warm for the warming okay so it's a very good spice you want to keep around you in your kitchen okay if you want me to do more video to do a lengthy full video on this clove or any of this app uh, drop a comment in the comment section and i'll see what to do about them okay, okay. so this next one is a mix of avocado leaves uh, soap leaf and moringa is a super food okay 
is a super medicinal plant mix okay avocado leaves are great for the heart it's highly nutritious so soap is anti-cancer is also good for sleep in fact avocado is also good for sleep can relax you okay so we have our moringa leaves and besides the three of them helps for bp okay actually made it for a bp patient i use it also for my hair products they are plants that boost hair growth okay so next is cinnamon oh this can be used as your flavor for, for baking apart from that is highly medicinal I use it for cold, malaria uh, symptoms, yeah, also for pain reliefs, okay. It also works for um, diabetic patients. If you're diabetic and you don't have cinnamon in your house, you are playing, okay. Go and get cinnamon. Even if you take it as tea, it will help you a lot to reduce your sugar level drastically, okay. So next is beetroot extract, okay? This is a nutritional boost. It's great for your heart, gives a lot of nutrients, yeah. And then apart from that, it's great for BP patients. Yeah, it can reduce your, your blood pressure immediately. So just as I said for cinnamon, BP patients, you must be taking beetroot go and get beetroot juice and be drinking the juice regularly even if you don't make extracts drink the juice regularly it will improve your bp same with hibiscus drink hibiscus tea regularly the zobo tea yeah just make it as tea pour hot water on top and drink it as tea so next is my sarsop leaf okay so these are sarsop leaf now we complain that the sarsop fruit is too expensive to, to to take regularly in the market to get the benefits get the leaves the leaves are there for you go and pluck the leaf it will still give you the same benefit it's anti-cancerous okay it can fight any tumor of any kind whether cancerous or ordinary tumor okay it breaks tumors now apart from that it's good for even those who have cancer it's also great for sleep so it has so many medicinal benefits it's a powerful plant okay so next is my lemongrass lemongrass is great for headache it's good for malaria okay it's good for um, bad breath yeah it's highly medicinal it's antifungal also great for gastritis pains headache etc okay it's another powerful herb now this is one of my favorites, the scent leaf. Yeah, that's one leaf that most of us we just use for only pepper soup or for cooking soup. But this leaf is highly medicinal. You can take as tea, you can make as extra, okay? So this helps and save me when there's fever condition in the house. In fact, for my baby, that's what I mostly use for him, scent leaf and lemongrass, okay? Whenever it runs temperature or fever, cold, catar, you know, it's very, very high in vitamin C. That's what I give him, scent leaf and lemongrass. Suitable for children, suitable for babies, okay? One powerful one. Then, when they are having pains, stomach bites, okay, the scent leaf comes in handy. Also for purging, scent leaf is good for you for purging. Infections, rashes, skin reactions, okay, it does a whole lot of things. BP, diabetes, scent leaf is one powerful leaf you should have in your house. You can dry them and use them as tea, take them regularly and you can make your extract out of them. So, it's one powerful one that comes in handy every time. So this is my carrot extract, okay? I made this for nutritional boosts. Apart from that, I use it to treat skin issues, okay? It's great for the skin to pick out all the spots for fair people getting dark and the rest of them hyper uh, pigmentation. Yeah, same with this potato. Yeah, potato can also go for the skin, for hyper pigmentation for dark spots okay high in vitamin a okay so it can boost your vitamin a level which we know that vitamin a is great for your eyes so they are good eye food 
so this is my lemon extract okay so i made the whole lemon i didn't peel the the back i didn't remove the seed anything complete so this is highly medicinal okay the bag the seeds they are all medicines okay so i infused it into my menstruum and i take them i can take them as my um lemon in hot water so i just boil hot water in the morning warm water and i drop it and that's my warm lemon water every morning it saves me the stress of juicing and keeping lemons they get spoiled they get bad sometimes so with these extracts i'm good to go with take if i want to take lemon water every day okay and we know the medicinal properties of lemon it helps for weight it helps for detox is a super food okay it's, a, it's powerful is one addition you must have regularly so it always comes in handy for me okay so that's just a few i picked out these are my already finished products the ones i bottled okay some of them here are not among the other lists of them okay so i won't talk much on these because i don't want to make this video too long okay so but these are my tinctures and i explained to you in my other videos the reason why i bottle them this way okay so you can watch my other video now this is a malaria fever cold immune boosting mix okay with lemongrass lemon rosemary cinnamon clove okay so they are very good for boosting the immune system and treating malaria okay so this is an immune booster to boost the immune system those of you who buy our immune boosting powder this is the liquid form of immune booster this extra saves me time they come in handy and i can use them at any time anywhere if i want to go out if i want to travel i can pick a bottle of it and i go my way okay so that's my scent leaf in the bottle i have fennel seed I have clove, I have cinnamon, and a whole lot of them. My brain booster is there. Okay, so several ones has been bottled. And one beautiful thing about this is it's a fun way to make kids take drugs. Okay, my kids love this. Children always love glycerin, especially when you use glycerin to make their medicine. They love it so much. Okay, sometimes my kids will just, hey, mommy, this side is paining me. That's just because they want to drink. <laughs> okay even the my baby to love it you can see him here rushing to me immediately he saw me mixing it and dancing <laughs> okay he loved it so yeah i was giving him the fruity mix beetroot carrot potato he doesn't like food so i was looking for extra nutrients to give him so i made this fruity mix yeah, which I give him at times. Once in a while, I give it to him to help boost his nutrients. Okay, so it's a fun way. Instead of giving children those frizzy drinks, soda drink, you can as well as do something like them, ex fruit extras for them, and you give, give it to them, okay? It helps these kids, okay, than those sugary soda drinks. And glycerin is good for them it's safe for them it's from vegetables it's from plants so it's the best to use for kids just ensure that it's food grade glycerin not cosmetic grade so these are a few of my extracts available we're also trying to make them available for people because i've have had some persons requesting for them so you can chat us up i'll drop a link for you if you need any extract okay even if it's among the ones not here on the list just let us know the plants or the herb you want us to use or the fruit you want us to use for you okay and the menstruum whether the tincture as a tincture or as a glyceride whatever menstrual you want us to use you can place orders we can make any extract for you okay at the cost okay all right so this is my apothecary uh which have shown us today my home medicines and the rest and where i store them okay for the kids for the family and for others and they have been blessing lives and helping us so far okay so if you haven't subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button my next video i'll be dropping 
some other herbs raw herbs the ones i've talked about today i won't talk about that. i'll talk about some other ones okay so feel free to click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get alert when i drop a new video and i'll also be sharing with us some other things on this channel okay on hair on skin and on food nature and all others so for those of you asking our professional natural and herbal soap training first batch for this year starts this coming april yeah the second week of april on the 8th of april we'll be starting our herbal soap making okay well, we'll be making different colors of soap with herbs we we'll play around with different herbs to make different kinds of soap for different skin conditions beautiful soaps okay so if you want to join us use the link chat us up and get registered for the class okay thank you so much for staying with me to the end i love you all god bless you see you in my next video bye, -bye.